Morning everyone, it's Chris Rupert from Polyan Edge again and we're uh, into our third video installment here today of chronicling the next Falling Edge CD. As you may remember from our last episode, I had finished up, more or less finished up that last song that I was working on. We kind of looked at keyboards, before that we looked at the bass parts. So now we're, it's time to start a new song. Uh, you kind of coming a little bit late to the party here because the writing for this album is virtually is almost done. I've got about uh, five, six songs I think in total so far. You know, six and we're around the 50 minute mark for for those songs. Uh, and I like to keep, I don't know, I th I'd like to keep an album around somewhere between 50 minutes and an hour. Even though you can go 74 minutes on a CD, it's sometimes I think, you know, unless you've got a you know, almost like a strong concept kind of thing going there. I think just uh, hearing too much of the same band all at once is, can, can be kind of too much. So just in the interest of creating a more impactful album, sometimes I think it's better to keep things a bit shorter. So anyway, yeah, we're looking at maybe one more song. I guess we'll kind of see how, how this one works out. If it's, uh, this could be the last one I write. Now, um, you may remember too, I, I mentioned when I'm writing stuff, I don't really have everything all mapped out beforehand. So this may seem like an odd way to approach it, but I really, you know, this song that I'm about to start writing today, uh, I don't know how long it's going to be. You know, it, it may, uh, if, if a lot of really good ideas come and it seems like it really uh, would, would benefit from expanding and developing a lot of these ideas, uh, it's often, sometimes it's not long before all of a sudden you're into double digit minutes for a song. Uh, and then other times not, of course. So if, if this song becomes like that, what will happen then is I will, in other words, if it becomes, you know, over 10 minutes long or something, it might kind of extend beyond the length of what I was planning for the album. So I may save it for album number four. Um, if it's too short, well, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, when I'm looking at writing a new song, uh, more, more often than not, I don't have some specific idea in my head and what happens is I you know obviously I do get ideas and when I get them it's sort of like almost at a time when I'm doing something else when I'm working on some other song so I don't want to confuse things and so what I do is just I throw a microphone on a guitar or on an amp and just record a little snippet of what I've got in my head and I come back to it later and and later is today and so right now I've got my my uh, audio recording program open and I'm looking at some what do we got there? Two, 250 or so tracks, each with a little, a different little bit of music that I have, have a, an idea that I had sometime in the past that I decided to write down, sort of like a digital notepad. And so, yeah, I'm, here I am, I'm going to write a song. So I think, you know, if I don't have some specific idea of what I'm looking for, I'm just going to kind of go through this list of, of different uh, little musical ideas. Now, before I started composing anything for the album, I went through this monster and made a short list that was, uh, yeah, there it is, my short list, and it's not very short. It, it lowered it from 250 to probably, I don't know, 50 or 75, because at the time I was writing the album, I knew that I wanted certain, I was looking for certain types of things that I wanted to put on there, and so I was able to go through these ideas, all of which I think are pretty good. I wouldn't have saved them if I didn't think they were pretty good. And thought, okay, this would be, you know, this would be good for that type of tune. This might be good for that type of tune, and, and you end up with 20 or 30 things that might be good for this or that type of tune. From there, what I will do now is make a shorter list, and that's what I'm in the process of doing this morning. I'm going to listen to those whatever 50 or 75 things I put on the short list, and try and find something that will be appropriate for what I'm, you know, kind of idea I'm thinking to have for this last song. You know, and, and by that I mean, you know, will it be in a major key or a minor key? Will it be fast or slow? That kind of thing. And so I'll go through, let me, let me give you an example here. I'll just pull something up. And then from there I'll be, you know, maybe that will be, maybe that'll be the intro. And then from there I can, I can think, okay, now where would the verse go from here? And so I may go back to the short list or to the longer short list and start looking for some things that might, you know, kind of fit in with that. And then if not, or I mean, also maybe I'll just have an idea. Yeah, okay, this is here. And then this next part, I'll, I'll just write something there on the spot and then kind of go from there. Uh, okay, so that's that'll be my work, I guess, for the next, I don't know how long, next week or so, before I have some pretty solid ideas of what I'm going to do with this next song. 
So uh, if you enjoyed that video, you know, please, again, by all means, subscribe down below or leave a comment down below.